fire that was already burning inside of me. What? So every day, I prayed on his downfall. What? I prayed that they would have a miscarriage. What? I even prayed that he would die. Oh. Luckily for me, his downfall did come, and he did end up dying. Man, what is good with y'all? It's your boy OG from the Woke Clan. I'm back. I ain't gonna lie, bro. It's been a minute, bro. It's been almost a month since I dropped the vid. I ain't gonna lie. I picked up. I picked up a second job. Picked up a second job. Um, I work every day, bro. Every day. Like last night, I came home from work, bro. I crashed out, bro. I crashed. I'm on my lunch break right now as we speak. But uh, shout out to you know the people in the comments. Y'all keeping the motivation going. Y'all keeping me alive. I got to keep going. got to keep pushing forward. So we actually behind a little bit. Uh, we got to react to episode eight and episode nine. Episode nine will come shortly after this, right? Literally either the same day or the day after. Like I said before, we're reacting to every Naruto unhinged, unhinged video. I know it seems like that's all I react to, but we have to react to them. It's not even like a question at this point. So with all that being said, I'm going to start wasting y'all time. And let's get straight. Too. For entertainment purposes and for the enjoyment of fans that follow the original series. But with all that said, please. I think last time what happened? Gar and Rock Lee. The Forest of Freaks. The Forest of Freaks. That's crazy. Gar and Rock Lee, they had a conversation about, you know, coming together, but, you know, Rock Lee had a, his extra motives. You feel me? Hmm. It sure is beautiful today, isn't it? Yeah, it's actually pretty nice out right now. No one asked for your opinion, you glue guzzler. You literally asked me a question. Bitch, I was monologuing. Then what was the point in bringing me out here if you were just going to monologue? I heard some of the kids around the village talking about having something called Aura, and how the Leaf Village hoes love it. So I thought monologuing in front of a mouth breather like you would increase my aura. That would have gave him a little bit of aura. I agree. I agree. And then Kakashi just came in and fucked it up, bro. Nobody asked you that question, bro. Nobody asked you, bro. You're 68 years old talking about aura. Just stop. I'm 68, yet I would still beat the bricks off of you like I was 30. Look at I him. brought Look. you here to- He had him on hush mode. He couldn't say nothing about it because he knew better. He knew better. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I used to not fuck with the third Hokage. I still don't fuck with the, the third Hokage, but I heard he was a god. Like he was really like that. And so, what y'all think in the comments, bro? Who would win in the 1v1? Kakashi and his prime, Shine Gone and everything, versus the third Hokage. Y'all let me know in the comments. To talk about that Lil Niglet Naruto. Crazy. Did something happen? Ibiki gave me the results about everyone that participated in the first exam. Surprisingly, a lot of people passed this year's version. But what's even more surprising is that it's mainly because of Naruto. Okay, and? You smooth bird brain, one-eyed fuck. Him being the reason they passed isn't what I have a problem with. It's the reports I got on his behavior and the way he was talking. I never said you had a problem with it. And that first line you said was really unnecessary. No, well, boo-hoo. Go cry to your pops about it. At least that's what I would say if he didn't pack himself up. Oh, oh my gosh. And he just gonna take it. He just gonna take it. He, bro, wow. Anybody talking about my pops like that, nigga? And 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 from the looks of it, like his pops was a single father, bro. We never seen Kakashi's mom, so it's like that's that's all he had was his pops. So it's like, I know that hit hard. You feel me? Third is like ruthless right now. He ruthless. This was a nice conversation, Lord Third. I think I'm gonna go before I do something to you. I'll regret. Mm. All right, calm down. I need to give you a warning. From the information I got from Ibiki, and the other information I got from people around the village, it would seem that the beast inside of Naruto is starting to wake up even more. From what I can tell, Naruto has been able to keep it under control so far. You might be overthinking it. Kakashi, you don't understand. I feel as though the beast is slowly affecting his personality. What do you mean? You remember the night when the nine c nigga attacked the village, right? Well, during that time, me and a squad of Leaf Ninja had to hold him off for a little bit while the fourth Hokage was busy fighting another battle. But while we fought the beast, I remember his distinct personality. It was almost like he was a little black kid that was from the hood. Oh my he God. was loud, brash, confident. What? He even said nigga like 20 times throughout the fight. All y'all niggas looks like some bitches, homie. Oh and from the stuff God. I'm hearing about Naruto, 
It would seem like his personality is becoming similar to the beasts. That does seem really similar to Naruto, which is very concerning. We should do something about this. I thought about that, and I decided that we won't do anything about it. I ain't gonna lie, the Nine Tails being voiced by Riley might be like golden. I ain't gonna lie to you. That might be like A tier niggatry right there. I ain't gonna lie to you. About it. Why not? This could be really dangerous for Naruto. Even better. Hopefully, it kills him. What the hell is wrong with you? You promised the fourth Hokage that you would watch over Naruto. So why would you ever say something like that? First of all, fuck Minato. I ain't promise him shit. I lied straight to that nigga's face while he was dying. Why would you lie about something like that? Because I'm petty like that. I don't care that you're petty. I need to know your reasoning for doing this. Oh, trust me. I definitely have my reasons. When the elders were thinking of making Orochimaru's freaky ass Hokage, I was the one who stepped in and told them that would be a horrible idea. So I nominated Minato instead. And we all know how that turned. Oh, did they really? I, I think I remember that. They really threw his name on the table. Like, that's a, a an option. What are y'all? Wait, what? I remember that. What? Oh, that is strange, bro. That is strange. Turned out, I basically put this nigga on and set him up for life. Mm. So one day after he was made Hokage, we were talking and I opened up to him. I told him that because of my age, it's getting a little hard for me to get active sexually due to a lack of women in this village interested in older men like me. Wow. So I asked him for one simple favor. Keep in mind, I never asked him for anything else before this. Plus, I thought it was understood that he basically owes me one because I was one of the main reasons he became Hokage. So I asked him if he would let me have sex with Kushina for the That's one time. Wicked. He told me no, then walked away. So I took that personally. And when I heard he had gotten her pregnant shortly after that, it was yeah, like hater, fuel bro. to the fire that was already burning inside of me. What? So every day I prayed on his downfall. What? I prayed that they would have a miscarriage. What? I even prayed that he would die. Oh. Luckily for me, his downfall did come and he did end up dying. I've never seen someone hate this much over something so stupid and childish. You can say whatever you want about it, but unlike him, at least I'm still alive. I'm just going to ignore that hateful ass statement you just said. I'm not going to lie, bro. You made me hate this nigga even more. <laughs> like, like, I feel like this is like actual lore. Like, this is this is canon. This is canon to me now. So when somebody talked to me about the third Hokage, this is canon to me. I'll bring this up because that just makes sense that he was such a hater like that. I can see that. I don't know why. It just fits him. It fits him, bro. That's why he wasn't taking care of Naruto. Naruto was on section eight eating oodles and noodles. It, bro, there's no reason you eight years old eating noodles and oodles and noodles living by yourself, bro. There's no reason for that. And you and you got you got the White House damn near. And you ain't got no you don't got a room for bro to live there with you and, and your kids. This is what I think about the third Hokage. Puh, nigga, spit on a nigga. Because now I need to know why you're bringing Naruto into this stupid hate circle of yours. He wasn't even born yet. Right. You think I care whether that little niglet was born yet? He's the only offspring of Minato. So I'll be damned if I willingly let him live in the same world as me without any harm. Wow. You're pathetic. So is your dad. That lame ass nigga really offed himself. You know what? I think it's time that I leave. Yo. You're about to bring out a side of me that I'd rather not show bring again. Bring it out. Ain't nobody worried about that weak-ass ghetto side you got. Haven't seen that since you were a kid. Whatever. But just as a little warning, you should probably start watching your back from now on. Ooh. Because it would really be a shame if someone you knew were to indirectly be one of the reasons you die. Ooh. Oh, so you want to play like that and threaten me, Kakashi? Well, I can do that too, you sharpie sniffer. If anything I said in this conversation gets leaked by you or anyone I suspect that you told, then I'll have your albino ass thrown out of this village and hunted until you're tap dancing with your bitch ass sensei Minato. Now get the hell out of my face. The second exam starts shortly. Hey, A1 shit talker though, A1. Actually, before I go, I need to ask you one thing about that. I understand why you chose Ibiki to hold the first exam, but I'm confused on why you would choose someone like Anko to hold the second one. I guess there's no point to lie about it. 
Especially since I literally just told you everything like I'm some type of cartoon villain. But basically, she came up to me and requested to be one of the proctors. I gave her the position because I'm trying to hit. So hopefully she's willing to pay me back in some lucrative ways desperate. to say thanks. You know how she feels about older men. Especially considering what happened to her as a kid. So, I don't even know why you're trying. I don't care that she got touched by Orochimaru's weird ass as a kid. This is gonna sound a little crazy, but maybe it's a good thing. Because you know that every person Orochimaru has had contact with becomes freaky in some way. Yeah. And I'm trying to experience that level of freakiness before I die. Why? You're literally sick and disgusting. I said what I said, and I meant it. Well, Doubling down ball. on that statement is just wild. But even if she somehow let you do all that, I don't think you could handle it without having a heart attack. Plus, me and her are friends with benefits, so I don't think you would want my uh -oh. seconds. Uh -oh. Since when you think a nigga cared about some sloppy seconds, I'm just trying to get my meat wet. And with that statement alone, I've heard enough. Yeah. I hope you have a horrible day and die in the shower, because mm. I lost all respect I had left for you today. Which wasn't you much to, to begin bro. with anyways. I don't fuck with bro. Damn. I guess you lost respect for me just as fast as you lost your dad when, when he, he offed himself. himself. Your joke isn't funny anymore. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I guess the title of the, the video is The Forest of Freaks. So we got to be talking about the third because the third is down bad. I'm talking about dry dick. He needs something, bro, because he's he's doing any and everything to get some get some pum pum. You know what I'm saying? Get some pum pum. But he can't get no pum pum because he's not like that. He has no aura, and he's a he's a dickhead. He worse he worse than Charleston White. At least when when Charleston White like speaks, there's some truth in it. When bro speak, bro, he a he a a, a a one hater, bro. A one dog. This is your third time saying this. You're just predictable. Mm. But was it as predictable as your dad when he offed himself? <laughs> Don't even get mad. You were basically asking for it with that line. Now I'm up 4-0. Oh my god, bro. That nigga is stupid. It's nice to see you all here so early. Oh. Unfortunately for me, it looks like I didn't have to hunt any of you down. So consider yourselves lucky. Not gonna lie. When I see stuff like this, I just have to call it out. Your tits are big as hell. All that edging he did the other night must be making him horny. This is just a part of the natural progression to becoming a true edger like me. The real test is overcoming these urges. What do I have to do for you to let a nigga suck on them like some Similac? <laughs> or how about I just come and... Yeah, bro, calm down. I'm a little too old for you, little guy. So, how about you keep your thoughts to yourself next time? I would be lying if I said I wasn't bricked right now. You're not to lie. No way. Sorry to interrupt. I overheard the conversation and just wanted to say that I just so happened to be of age. So how about me and the little boy switch places? Then maybe you can try and hunt me down after. Wait, did, wait, she didn't know that was a roach The second right exam will be starting soon, so I think I'll pass. Plus, your approach is a little too aggressive for my liking. She had to have known. Look, look, yeah, yeah, she That's knew that. understandable. You're a little too old for my liking anyways. Oh, yeah, look at his dress. Looks like they have a sense of humor. She, she I don't know if it's him. just me, but that really didn't sound like a joke. But maybe I'm just overthinking it. Thanks to my little conversation with Lee yesterday, I was introduced to an amazing white artist named Kendrick Lamar. Oh I couldn't God. find any pictures of him, though. But since I listened to some of his songs last night, I now know a perfect song lyric for this situation. Freaky ass nigga. He a 69 God. Oh, me. <laughs> oh, me, Orochi is a freaky ass nigga. All right. I think it's about time I explained what you will be doing for the second exam. I'm only going to explain this once, so make sure you listen up. The second exam is a survival exam, which you will have five days to complete. So basically, this is going to be five days of no weed. What a drag. Five days seems a bit much for one exam. Even though this year's exams are different, 
This was the same location used last year for the regular exams. So if the rules are the same, then we basically have to reach a very far and specific location within the forest that's in front of us. Thanks for saving me the explanation. What's your name? I don't like giving my name out to random people. No offense. None taken. Your hair color reminds me of someone I know, so I just wanted to say you're a handsome and smart young man. Oh, but I get a kunai thrown at me for stating a fact about her body. Calm down. Make it make sense, my nigga. I would compliment you back, but I'm not really attracted to your gen... Ahem. I knew it. Got I'm him. sorry for that. Got I stumbled him. on my words. What I meant to say was, I'm not sure how to respond to generous comments very well. Moving on from that, this is the last thing you guys need to know before the exam starts. Each team will be given one of these scrolls. You must have both of these scrolls with you before making it to this exact point. Mm. If you don't have both, then you don't move on to the next round. Mm. So do whatever you have to do to get these scrolls. Anything goes. That's Anything everything explained. Goes. So go ahead and talk amongst yourselves until it's time to start. Hey, you pink-haired little boy. Give me a quick update on how my man is doing. <laughs> My man is doing amazing. And in case it hasn't clicked for you yet, me and him are about to be in the forest alone together. So I'm thinking I might extract some honey from the beehive when he's sleeping, if you know what I mean. Oh my gosh. Mm. But no, hey, pink hair little boy. Hey, that was funny. I ain't gonna lie. It is about time you took that sticker off your face. You are not even from the hood. So I do not even know why you would put it on in the first place. I know he doesn't actually care. He just wants to try and get a reaction out of me. Like but mother. still, most of these jits don't know the stuff that goes on behind the gates of the Huga clan. Oh, so they have no right to even try and speak on it. Slim, thick, caramel skin. Five, five, this bitch a ten. Hair done, bills paid, catch me sliding in a bends. Remember that our only goal what? when entering this forest is making contact with the target. The thought of finally coming face to face with them has me feeling excited in more places than one. So if one of you messes this up for me, I'll kill you both. Oh no, you he, a fan. All right, quit sitting around and get your little asses in that forest because the second exam starts now. I can just smell the instigation opportunities in this forest. So, I need to make sure I do not miss them. I haven't seen Lee this eager to instigate in a while. Jit must have something big already in the works, which is concerning. All right, team, listen up. The only thing that I need us to do is to find another scroll and get to the destination before Naruto's team does. This shouldn't be hard considering that we're all better than him anyways. Hmm. He could never be better than Naruto. <laughs> oh yeah, I like that. Hell yeah, Shino. That's the type of energy I'm looking for. This is why you're such a great team. Mm. Damn, girl, you're good. No. Shino, why did you just say that? No. Yeah, keep crawling in and out just like that. No. Shino, what the fuck are you doing right now? And why do I hear the sound of a beetle coming from your pants? <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't tell me you're... God damn it, Kiba, you just ruined it for me. But to answer your question... It's exactly what it looks like. I had a conversation last night wow. with the fly that helped me get the answers off of Naruto's paper. She told me that I should embrace what I like and that I shouldn't be ashamed of my kink. And I agree. Wow. So I'm not hiding it anymore. Wow. I don't judge you on whatever you do. Wow. So you can't judge me either. Wow. So this isn't even his first time doing something like this? That's a different level Before of freak. Before we move further... Lie. I want to say something to you, Naruto. Yo, the whole village is freaked out. The whole entire, like, you got Orochimaru, bro. You got the third Hokage. Shino freaking out. Naruto said some crazy shit. Sasuke like the edge. Like, this whole village is just... Bro, throw it away. Throw the whole village away. That is, man, that is just disgusting. You making that statement about the proctor's breast earlier was out of pocket and made you look really horny. But... That's just one of the side effects when you start to edge. So if anything, I'm proud of you for continuing your edge sessions. Keep it up. I got you, my nigga. 
But speaking of that, I think I have some type of resistance or something. What do you mean you have a resistance? What do you mean by that? So you know how I've only been edging for a few days now, right? Well, within those few days, there were a couple of times where my streak should have ended. Because a nigga still had to risk it all for that nut. But when I did, I was basically just shooting blanks. Because nothing came out. Whoa. Maybe you just have more self-control than you think. Nah. I low-key think it's because of the jutsu that racist-ass nigga used on me the other day. The testicular torsion jutsu, oh. or whatever it's called. After he used it on me, he told me that I won't be using my left nut anytime soon. So maybe because of that, I'm not able to bust. Even if I purposely try to. You might be onto something with that. After this exam is over, test it one more time just to be sure. Or I can do it right now and we'll have our answer. I'll be back in a few minutes. <laughs> That's crazy. Bro, that was a tough one, not gonna lie. But I will say without a doubt that it is good. Damn! What did you do with Naruto? You're looking right at me. What are you even talking about? Naruto has never said the word bro since I met him. Plus, he always opts to say the N-word as a replacement for the word bro anyways. Uh -oh. So since you're clearly not him, tell us what you did with him. Damn it, it was that noticeable? Yo, that was clean. That was clean. We're getting right back to the damn. He, he on it. I ain't gonna lie. I be seeing bro all the time. He my op. Bro, my op. I'm playing nah, nah. Hey, that's my reaction. I know you've been waiting for me, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's my reaction to episode eight. Episode nine coming right after this. So, yo, it's your boy OG from the Woke Clan. And.